once again, we've come to another Membership Connection video. I'm here with my good friend and church member, Pat Childers. Pat, so good to have you today. Tell us about the Childers family. How's everybody doing over at the Childers household? Well, um, we are currently still in our bunker, um, holding down and we're, we're safe, which is, which is great. We're healthy. So in a situation like this, that's, I mean, that's a lot to, to be thankful for. Um, I am blessed. Uh, I still am working uh, my job, which is great. I know there's a lot of people without work right now, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, it gives me a new respect for mothers who stay at home all the time. I will tell you that, uh, especially when their kids can't go out and play and can't go out and do things. So my wife is a trooper, so um, I'm she's learning staying, that. Is she staying sane? Are you helping her? For the most that? part, she's staying sane. She's doing a really good job. Um, again, Mia's two, and everybody knows Amelia. She is a firecracker, to say the least. Jackson's four. He's getting he's getting better. He's getting older, getting to that helping stage, which is really cool. Uh, but, man, Mia, she's she's pretty wild. So, uh, But we're having fun. We, we spend a lot of time together uh, after work as a family. Um, it's really nice to have that. A lot of times you get busy with life, and... And you just don't do that as a family. So we, we've been really enjoying that, which is nice. Any specific games or movies or things that over the past two or three weeks, that's just been the one thing that they want to do? Yes. You know, sometimes kids will pick something. They want to do yes. it over and over. Like Luke, Jack, every day, can we have a, he calls it an epic Nerf war. Can we have an epic Nerf war? Let me tell you, when they get older, some of those, those little Nerf balls, the, the, those things hurt, man. They do. And they, they gang do. up on me. What has it been for the so children? It's been, a, it's, been a, it's been a conglomerate of things uh, Jackson, um, he had a while back had his Nerf guns taken away. So he's been he's been a good uh, good boy, and he's been getting some of those back. So he's been getting back into some Nerf guns throughout this thing. But uh, I made a marshmallow gun for him. I don't know if anybody's ever made a PVC marshmallow gun, but uh, he's got one of those, and he's trying to learn how to use that. Uh, but but board games, um, we have been playing a lot of a board game called uh, Don't Wake Daddy. I don't know if any of you have that. Um, you just go around in a circle and the, and the the dad wakes up if you push the button too many times. It scares scares you half to death. Playing a lot of that, and we've got like six games, and we play the same six games over and over and over and over and over. And then we watch the same movies over and over and over and over. So, I mean, it's it's whatever they want. It's fun that they get to sit there, and they. I mean, the fun part is they're cuddling with you when they're watching the movie. So I'm I'm learning not to take that for granted. Uh, but we watch a lot of movies, play a lot of board games at night. Um, trying to think of anything else we do. Mom has them do a lot of crafts during. Uh, the day, which is great, and they're getting a lot better at quiet time, which is good for us parents. Yes. So. How are they? Is just curious. Is I mean, Sundays are different for us. Have the kids noticed it at all? Is it was it a little bit different to realize they're not with the, when yeah. they come? The little kids here will come get the Starburst from Adam's office, and they yeah. all mm -hmm. they're all running around having fun, and that's disappeared. Practically, yeah. For, three or four for, weeks from for, for the most part, they they love their Sunday school classes. Um, Mrs. Warner um, and other people that help out, that help out in there, they love that. They miss that. You know, they even say, "I want to go back to church." Uh, it's just not the same for a kid being able to watch something on an electronic. Mm -hmm. It's just not the same uh, as an adult. We can kind of apply ourselves. We can listen. It's not the same for us either, but we can still get something out of our Sundays uh, services and Wednesday services. But for the kids, it's a little tough. Uh, so they cannot wait to come back to church and come back to their Sunday school classes. So Before we're done, quickly, um, tell us about the fire department. Uh, you know, I think a lot of our church members are praying for you, and when they think about those on the front lines, they get worried for people like you. And I'm sure you're taking all the precautions, but how can we pray for you? Are you doing okay in that respect? Are you continuing to do that? Yeah, the answer is yes. We're, we we still have to continue to respond. Um, James and I are, are still responding. We have taken some new precautions, uh, which is good for our fire department. Um, for instance, no more than four to a truck, masks, gloves, all that kind of stuff. The same precautions that I'm assuming everybody else would be taking uh, in first uh, response. Um, we do have a firefighter that is currently in grayling. Um, uh, I don't know if he is still on a ventilator or not. Um, but he d he does have COVID nineteen. I believe the last message we had was he was resting comfortably. He was doing great, uh, not great, but he was doing better. I should say. So I, I guess you could just pray for all your first responders and everybody else that's out there on the front lines right now, um, just to that God will keep them safe. Um, some of the, sometimes this disease doesn't affect certain people, and sometimes it affects others to a, to a different degree. So just for safety um, and clarity of thought, I guess is how you could pray for us. Um, 
but yeah, everything else uh, on the fire department, I believe, is going is, is going pretty good right now. So. Well, thank you once again for coming down. It's, it's so good to see you, and I know I speak for our, our viewers as well. It's good to see you. We love you. We're praying for you. And I know you miss everybody. We all miss each other. And so we put together a couple of these membership connection videos. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on another Connection.